he would hold me down oh. and like finger my belly button. <laughs> when I was a kid. Don't is touch it. Don't touch it. Can I be serious? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tommy Fury. More serious. More serious? Yeah. Okay. Thomas Fury mm. seems to be afraid to come to America to fight you. I mean, look, he's uh. Oh shit, bro, what's that? Ooh. He looks great there. Who's that lucky guy you got to kiss? <laughs> he's a beefcake. The, the dude's a cake of beef. When you were watching that, how fast did you nut? What? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagrant, and today we have the one, the only, the sensation, the problem child himself is in the studio. It's Jake Paul, everybody. Hey. Hey. Jake Paul. Hey. Hey. Boy. Jake, I did some serious research on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Man. I did real research. He thinks he's bro. a journalist now. I'm That's a journalist, bro. We've had real, you know, we have a superstar on the show right now. Yeah. Okay. I have my glasses somewhere, but I did real research, man. I did like real in depth Nardwar shit with you. All right. So what do you got? Like, Nardwar says something that no one knows about the person. Do you have something? You played for the 49ers when you were 11 years old. Whoa. Bang! Whoa. Whoa. Your dad was the assistant coach. What the fuck? Yeah. Shit! And you hate when people tickle your belly button. Bro, shit. <laughs> <laughs> is it this true? is good. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You know what's funny? I've seen him knock people out, so I'm kind of safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little yeah. annoying. Well, you're on the hook side. Yeah, he can That's get true. you. That's true. I gotta be careful. Info from my brother? No, no. I don't even know your brother like that. Oh, okay. All right. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I could have. <laughs> okay. I also, I also know another thing. Uh, you don't like when people touch your toes. That's true, too. Okay. That's yeah. tough here because we were into toes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're a real toe thing. Yeah. This side of the room loves feet. But also that's not have you ever paid for a woman's feet? What does no, that mean? No, like no. For OnlyFans pictures? No. I know guys do that. No, but half of my money goes to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I pay a lot for beautiful feet. Okay. I like that. Oh, like Are you that. into feet? No, is no, no. I hate feet. What do you mean you hate them? Think about it. It's the, it's literally all of the dirt and disgust of the world ends up on the floor, and that's where your feet are. He's going. <laughs> <laughs> Touch it and shit. Yes. It's like, yes, bro. Freak, yes. bro. You get it? You get it? Belly belly. I don't know. <laughs> fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're a weird one. He's a weird one. I yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, we're not done yet. I got real Nardwar shit, dog. That's crazy. Okay. You really know shit right now. This is, this right is now. for real, bro. Okay. okay? I take my shit seriously. When you were a freshman in high school, fuck, I know the this freshman is going. dance a girl was dancing up on you and you busted in your pants. Whoa. Wow. That's not true. Wow. Oh, shit. Why did Logan tell me that then? <laughs> you did hear this girl. That was a, <laughs> that's a setup. Wait, it did? That's a setup. That's not true. It's not? It's not true. Okay, what, then what, word, man, what did you think <laughs> I was going to say? <laughs> Because I used to, I used to steal iPhones. I was an oh. entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I caught that too. I caught that too. <laughs> Just hustling, you know. Yeah. Like, okay, last thing yeah. that I know. My last little bit of research. This did not come from Logan. I, I don't know if I believe you. Well, you don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, yet. all right. <laughs> One time, when you were younger. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no. This is, Logan this is good. This is good. Rip some wallpaper in your family home, okay? Neither of you admitted to it, so your parents put you in a bathroom and said, figure it out. You were maybe four years old, he was six years old. <laughs> Say, figure it out, look at his eyes opening up. He's starting to remember, it's starting to come I think I do remember this. Okay, now in that bathroom, you, vulnerable, young, innocent, Jake Paul, four years old, okay? okay. Your conniving older brother, Logan, Convinced you, groomed you to take the fall. Groomed you That's to take the fall. Up. Okay, and he convinced you to admit that you were the one that did it, even though it was Logan. I think I got slapped. <laughs> yes, yeah. and then your dad fucked you up. Damn, bro, that's making Logan's a murder. Logan's always right there. been throw, throwing me under the bus, bro. Why is that? <laughs> Who knows, bro? I guess it's just like an older brother thing, right? Maybe if you let him touch that belly. <laughs> <laughs> It. Wait, why? It's because he would hold me down Whoa. and like finger my belly button. <laughs> when I was a kid. 
I was a kid. <laughs> and I was too young to defend myself. <laughs> You got penetrated? Yeah. yeah. He got penetrated, and then, bro. And then, no. and then he would invite, like, my uncles and stuff to, like, to gang in on, like, punching me and shit. They would hold me down and be <laughs> gang <laughs> raped. See, it happens to all of us, Andrew, okay? <laughs> this is crazy. It happens to all of us. Where did you guys live? Trauma. Was it, like, an island that, like, wealthy and elite people would visit often? Like, <laughs> It was like off the coast of the Virgin Islands. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the address at all? <laughs> there was this guy with gray hair. Yeah. Charming. Yeah, he said he just wanted a massage. <laughs> and that's why you're a great fighter. Okay, yeah. so you got to say it all worked out. Yeah. I'm, no, seriously. He would I finger learned your I had belly button? Dude? Yeah. Do you have like a very like like deep one? Or like? No, it's not. I have a normal belly button. It's normal, but he was it like, it's was he doing like the motion and everything? Or he, was would, he... he would like, try to torture me in any way possible, really. There was nothing else to do in Ohio, so you, you leave <laughs> you leave Logan and Jake Paul in a fucking house. <laughs> Greg Paul locks us out yeah. during the summer. He wouldn't let us go back into the house while he went to work. And so he's like, stay outside and figure it out. So what? we're two what? kids. I love your dad. <laughs> Just love what? your dad. The best. All we had was the woods yeah. and four wheelers and- Fingering each other. And your belly button. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and our fists. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Yo, isn't the guy actually from Ohio, the Victoria's Secret guy? The, oh, Les the Wexner? Name? Yeah, Les Wexner. Les Wexner. Yeah, that is. A lot of weird shit goes on in Ohio. That's mm -hmm. like a thing. The guy was trying to get you guys kidnapped. <laughs> Like he was like, you money. yeah, you can't be inside the house. Oh, yeah. Being an entrepreneur yeah, yeah. runs in your family. Boom. Mm -hmm. These two hot little blondes. You were, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, hey, these little blondes. You can say you and Logan thing. were in your prime. There actually. we go. Mm hmm. You got a sick fucking mind. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I, who knows, man? <laughs> who knows what Greg Paul was up to in those days? <laughs> um, I still don't know what he's up to. Yeah, what, what is he up to? He just lives in the middle of nowhere at my brother's ranch and just does manly shit all day long, like making fires and splitting wood and just taking care of the ranch, feeding horses. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because I gotta tell you about my new special, Infamous, which is available for pre-order right now at my website, deandrewschultz.com. Why are we selling it on the website? Well, originally it was with a streamer. If you didn't already know, they were trying to cut jokes. We said, fuck that, long story short, we bought it back and we're delivering it straight to the people. So you can buy it right now, deandrewschultz.com. Okay, the original version of the special, the special that we wanted to put out and uh, it's gonna be airing live on the 17th of July. Make sure you check it out with all of us afterwards. We're gonna do a live stream together with the whole flagrant crew, and we got exclusive fashion merch available there as well. So go cop that, theandrewschultz.com. Spread the fucking word. Let's change the goddamn game again. It would mean the fucking world to me. Thank you guys, let's get back to the show. Where's this ranch? It's somewhere in California. Okay. Somewhere in California, like 80 acres. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's not it's bad. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Nope. Now, Jake, um, sorry, I have to burp there. <laughs> what was that? I'm a professional interviewer, dude. <laughs> Did you just throw up a little bit? I threw up in my mouth, and I caught it, and I swallowed it. Oh, wow. And I used my fist to catch it, and then I just swallowed That's it. That's amazing. You'll, you'll get there. Yeah. 38, 39, you just start burping. You start no throwing reason. up sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. Air makes you burp, dude. <laughs> just welcome to old age. Oh, hell yeah. Um, Jake, you'll be there, okay? I would burp in your belly button. Uh, <laughs> no? Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now, can I be serious? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, be serious. Tommy Fury. More serious. More serious? Yeah. Okay. Thomas Fury. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, Thomas Fury seems to be afraid to come to America to fight you. Yeah. That's what some people would think. Yeah. I mean, look, he's uh, backed out of the fight once already. With That's an true. injury that we don't know whether or not was actually an injury. You claim that he had hurt his pussy lips. Yes. <laughs> mm. Vaginitis. <laughs> oh, damn. And. It was more of an odor? Was that the. It was, <laughs> that was he the was answer? so bad they wouldn't let him on the plane to come over here. Wow. Yeah. The odor. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's a new thing at the TSA. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the dogs are sniffing yeah. for now. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Okay. <laughs> he just fogged up that machine when you throw the triangle out there. It was pretty nice. Uh, but he, he, he actually won't go the, to the embassy right now. So really? all he has to do is go to the embassy, talk to them, 
and they will give him his visa so that he can come over here yeah. and fight me. Yeah. Uh, there's been no action on his side of things. And it seems like he doesn't want to actually go and do that. I think he's trying to find any way out of the fight. And who knows, to be honest, even if he went to the airport to get denied entry. Oh, he could oh. be making the whole thing. He could be making up. the whole thing. There's no pictures of him at the airport. Oh. And like, you have to think, he's a su superstar over People there are in the take UK. Pictures. Yeah. Like, he wears fucking one piece athletic suits like Floyd Mayweather looking like a fucking idiot, like super stand out. Yeah. Like, they're going to be like, <laughs> that's totally fair. Bloody mate. <laughs> take a fucking picture. Like, there's no picture of him at the airport, so he could be making the whole entire thing up. And why not just go to the embassy, get your visa, and make it happen? Because he might be scared. Maybe. I think his brother and his dad had some sort of a serious talk with him potentially. Mm -hmm. That was like, "Yo, look at the way you fought in your last fight, and you might not actually be able to beat Jake Paul." Wow. Whoa. Because wow. what a lot of people are saying is this should be an easy victory for him. Yeah. But now it looks as if they might not feel that way. Yeah. On paper, you know, he's been boxing since he was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, amateur career, 8 0, you know, legendary bloodline, brother's the heavyweight champion of the world. And then he's fighting a guy who just started doing this. Mm. Um, but. Who knows what actually is going on? Like, I hate speculating. I wish I'd, I wish shit was just more straight up. And that's what's the problem with boxing is so many of these big fights aren't being made because they have so many excuses. You know, that's what's great about the UFC actually is, okay, you don't want to fight? Somebody else There's someone else in yeah. line and we're going to shelf you now and like fuck off. Yeah. Um, but in boxing, these guys hide behind so many excuses. It's like Tommy Fury talks a big game. KSI talking all the fucking time, but then... They never back it up. They never want to actually do shit. Hmm. You think that it happened after the bet that you made? That's what I was wondering. Right? Like you make this million dollar bet. With what, Tyson, what's the bet? Yeah. With Tyson. With Tyson. Well, yeah. Explain the bet. Yeah. So uh, Tyson was like, I'll bet 100K on Tommy. And I was like, all right, like you made $40 million last year. Like, let's bet some real money. And he was like, all right, let's make it a million. Basically win or lose. He's betting it on Tommy. Uh, I'm obviously betting it on myself. And we were in contact with his lawyer to put the money into escrow. Um, but I think there is a lot of pressure. If you think about it, the pressure's on Tommy. Yeah. Because he <clears throat> is fighting for the professional boxers and yep. the boxing community. That's a lot of weight. And his, and his older name. brother, yeah. his name, his last name, his dad is, you know, they they're so they tough on him. He's the runt. Out. Yeah, he's the runt of the family. And they literally He's said, a good looking runt, though. He's a handsome guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker is fine. Admit that's the hottest boxer you've yeah. fought. Yeah, you haven't fought a more handsome yeah, guy. I would touch his belly button. Oh, yeah, of course, 100%. dude. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't take a little body shot, some tequila out of that thing? No. Whatever. I left a Little. If you look, if you look a little bit closer, you almost got knocked out, Mark. You almost got knocked the no, fuck I'm, I'm out. Bob, I'm right. Bob a little. Tell us about Tommy Fury's sexy <laughs> no, fucking ass. If you know, if you look, if you look a little bit closer, I can't wait. Something happened. <laughs> Bro, give us the close up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's Googling. You know? yes. I'm not, I'm Get him up business. right there. Watch business. his laptop if fly you, off his fucking waist right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look no, at no, that. Get guy. Get, like, I'm bobbing like, weave on that, more, bro. Come on. Get a more recent picture from his Instagram. Oh, if you sure. if you look a little bit closer, yeah. something happened in the past year where he's starting to really like age poorly. He right. has this like giant crease now. It's like a <laughs> it's literally like a tarmac. He's in the, in the studying his face now. Hard there, buddy. <laughs> Bro, it's, you That's can't miss it. On, it's yeah. like this. It's like crunched up, like like a beluga whale. Yeah, a bit? something. And yeah, then, yeah. and then I never really realized how big his nose is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong with big noses, though, dog? You said he was good looking. You're, but I'm. In, I like big noses. What? 
<laughs> okay, let's look at the schnoz. But that is close nah, to the camera. This guy handsome as fuck, yo. This no, guy that's handsome. a handsome Turkish yeah. man right there, dude. Yeah. Look at that guy. <laughs> Doesn't he look like he would like Bro, try to... caterpillars on his fucking thing. Okay, right the there. eyebrows are like very specific. He has cartoonish yeah, eyebrows. You can thread it in your you back. Can, you could thread that, bro. Mm -hmm. Look, at you've got your yeah. eyebrows done. You know, he could yeah, make yours the, nice. Shave in there. So then get him. He needs to get threaded. He could, he Tommy, could, bro, if you're watching this, don't go to the embassy and go look to at the that. eyebrow thing. I mean, come that, on. No, no. Look at how handsome he is. With the spray tan? Yes. Yeah, you hate it, though. Yeah, yeah, you hate it. What are you doing? That, if man. I'm in the ring with yeah, them, you're tying them up. Or honestly, what? I'd be confused. I'd be thinking that he'd be trying to give me ice cream, but taking it away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know them Turkish ice cream dudes that go like this. <laughs> you know they give my ice cream, Tommy Fury, with your eyebrows. <laughs> but those eyebrows look a little bit more thin. He's a ham. He Ooh. looks great there. Yeah. yeah. Who's, that? Who's that one? Yeah. Is that his wife? This is his girlfriend. Yo, yeah. no disrespect. You know, but he's a beefcake. The the dude's a cake of beef. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Look at, you got some Alex Media pics right here. So, Alex, you guys got similar Instagram. So, right? I like this guy. I like his shorts. The hoochie yeah. daddy. The hoochies. Yeah, I like this guy. So. And that, oh, so he's been in America. Oh. Yeah. So he's he was now in a, he all of a sudden. Was, now all of a sudden he can't. Once get you got to fight Jake Paul, all of a sudden can't get in. Shit yeah. sus, bro. It's kind of like you right now. Yeah, I'm not, but I'm not <laughs> sus. I don't think there's much to suspect yeah, here. I think we're in. pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fast forward. We're pretty open here. Shit, <laughs> 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 what's going on? Is this a gay podcast? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, you weren't the only one left outside the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but can we bring up more hot guys? Who is the hottest guy besides? <laughs> so funny. It's, <laughs> it's like he don't fuck with the white boy fun. I'm like, yes, now you know how I feel, bro. <laughs> With black dudes. He's like, yo, cut this shit out, yo. <laughs> He's like, what's happening? He's like, where am I right now, bro? But Man. seriously, who's the hottest guy you've sparred? Like, <laughs> like, oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Jesus! Bro, come on, dude! So, I didn't mean to say that out loud. I'm sorry. That was come my fault. on, dude. That was crazy right there. Yo, you have a chance with him. You think? He, he, he gives his guys. Pull it up, pull it up. Uh, Wait, I'll what? <laughs> Yo, you oh, know a lot about Yo. this nigga, so oh, I'm God. just saying. Bro, Jake, bro, no, Jake can your, I be honest with you? Keep your closer, your enemy's closer, uh, bro. Okay. I know everything. I know where he lives. Mm. That was, that was yeah, that, super that was gay. gay. You, just that was gay. you suggested I kiss him, bro. I'm not trying to kiss gay. him. I'm trying to objectify him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be all romantic. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, we ain't I thought that's nobody. what you were going for. You said fast forward. Yeah, but just to look at him. Oh, shit, bro. What's that? Okay. Yeah, this is. Is that Eddie Hearn? <laughs> so <laughs> that should look like the Titanic, bro. So <laughs> that's it. Oh, what shit. is this? This, this is him over. on his reality show. What? Just getting getting down with the guy. But oh, he's on like Love Island or some yeah. shit like that, right? Yeah, yeah and he's on Love Island. <laughs> 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 I hate this guy. Yeah, 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 he's on your chest, bro. Uh, if you chest. think he's good looking, who's that lucky guy you got to kiss? Yo, Yo, he's never coming to America. Cause if he does, <laughs> <laughs> he's only coming to one place. So where That's is it? Facts. <laughs> In your belly button. No. <laughs> I'm gonna just call my PR team to just get them ready for the, to be canceled like <laughs> next week. Bleep that. Bleep it, yeah, okay? Good. Bleep that. <laughs> Except the last thing I said. Bro, that, well, what was that about? <laughs> wow. He really did, like. But who is, that's Luka Doncic? <laughs> <laughs> did he make out with Luka Doncic? That was wild. Come on, this is, this is sentimental. Wow. But, I'm David, I'm good. You're like, you're raw. You are. What? <laughs> I mean, bro, come here. Come here, bro. Oh. <laughs> Oh man. What is for life? Pause. What? Pause. 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 <laughs> the definition of. Oh, that's how they came up with it. <laughs> Hold on. That, alright. When you were watching this the first time. 
<laughs> Jake, come on. Your Jake. background Jake. is rainbow colors. <laughs> That's a coincidence, bro. That's a coincidence. Hit it, Miles. Hit it, hit it Miles. That's oh, yeah. a complete coincidence <laughs> that the background would be rainbow colored. What are you even talking about? We would never incorporate. What is that? Miles, what's that? Get that out of here. How did that get what's there? The <laughs> this is the month. Okay, exactly. So what? when you were watching that for the first time, mm -hmm. right? How fast did you nut? Like, okay, stop. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, so he's trying to talk about his actual fight. Okay, okay? sorry, sorry, okay. Go, 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 Look at the forest behind Jake. Jake, the forest uh, is here. You're outside. I feel right at home. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay? All right. You're about to take <laughs> on Tommy Peter Fury. Like okay? Yeah. Celebrity oil down, just Bro, fucking. Just... <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a boxing match. Okay. There's okay? No oil. What? No oil? It's There's technically like... Vaseline. Yeah. Vaseline? Yeah. 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 Nothing. That's petroleum oil. jelly. Come petroleum. On, Bro. Dumbass. What do you, you use? Call it? <laughs> use olive oil after going to Italy for my honeymoon. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I do. Stop. He's been doing this emoji all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Non-stop. Yeah, he went to Italy, Italy once. He went to Italy like, once. Can I just be a, Exactly, no, dude. This is, is it's my people. Like, it's my people, bro. Stop He went there one time. He's like, oh, they all went in pants my height. <laughs> <laughs> I felt at home. Yeah, I felt at home, man. He pronounces Adidas now. Yeah, that is. That's bro, what he if says. If you didn't stutter on that one, that would have fucking <laughs> killed, bro. That Crushed it, you did. <laughs> I have a stuttering problem. Wait, do you yeah. really? Piece of shit. Yeah. My dad had that too. Yeah. <laughs> My dad had that too. I mean that. Yeah. I mean that I, sincerely. I don't know if you want some fucking empathy? <laughs> no, I was trying to relate. <laughs> I was trying to relate. I was trying to relate. How you shit on my dad? How you shit on my dad, you piece of shit? He outside. He just flip compassion, bro. Yeah, he's trying to bomb you. You can't flip compassion like that, man. I'm sorry. I thought we were going to solve it. Solve Together. What? Solve a stunt? <laughs> my dad solved it, bro. He, he ended up being on the news. King's speech style? 100%, bro. Damn, that's dope. How? Say what? How do you solve it? He just stopped speaking like a fucking idiot for a <laughs> 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 Did you ever try that? That shit might work for you, bro. You tried it just one time and that shit just went off, bro. Uh, okay, I'm being serious right now, Jake. We were trying to be Tommy Fury. We were about Tommy. Yeah. Okay. You promote now, fight with Tommy. Hopefully, he just gets into the U.S. I hope he gets in the U.S. I, after the Nate Robinson fight, I I still had a little bit of doubt. I'll be honest. I still had a little bit of doubt. But you were doing things in the Nate Robinson fight that I thought were like really interesting, right? I'm no fucking boxer, but I've been watching boxing a long time. And like when you caught him with the overhand right, when you were stepping back, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like usually yeah. guys don't like step back and then counter, especially if it's like early into boxing. I was like, oh, okay, this guy's doing like some things. Obviously, everything else happens. At any point in time, do you look at it and go, what the fuck is really happening right now? Um, I do sometimes because it it doesn't make sense. Like the the amount of work I put in, though, kind of justifies justifies it, it for sure. People don't see how hard I work at all, and I think when people start to see it, they're gonna realize how serious I take this shit. Yeah. And when people see it for the first time, they come to just one of my practices. They're like, "Holy shit, I get it now." Uh, but there is some sort of like higher power, I think, that's like guiding my journey here. Okay. Um, I'm very spiritual. And just the way that the, all the knockouts have unfolded and all the fights and the way that this is going, I feel like there's like a higher purpose for my career. And I think it's just to show kids that anything is possible and that if you really set your mind to something, no matter how many critics you have or how much bullshit you have to deal with, or if everyone hated you at one point in your career, you can overcome that. Is that um, your superpower? I think so. Like you can yeah, be yeah, hated yeah. and then continue to push through? Yeah, and, and using it as motivation and 
really boxing is is just so perfect for that because you could just shut people the exactly. fuck up. Exactly. It's I like have, math at the yeah. end of the day. I have a question about the problem child, this whole persona. Did you develop that because Logan is so good at being the hero that you're, look, I have an older brother and you're like, how can I differentiate myself from him? And if your superpower is, I don't mind if y'all dislike me, I can lean into that and then I can really make a lot. You can probably make more money being the problem child than you can the hero. Yeah, so I mean, I think- naturally Logan and I were always differentiated, right? Mm -hmm. He was the nerd in school, like Mm -hmm. damn near the valedictorian. Really? And meanwhile, I just didn't care for school at all. I saw no point in it. I was like, when am I going to use this math or or science or anything? I was like, this is fucking stupid. I'm wasting my time here, falling asleep in class. Mm. Um, And I was always like finding myself getting in trouble and when I finally embraced who I was, being the problem child, that's when it started to work for me. Mm. And yeah, like <clears throat> I guess embracing that villain side of things and leaning into it for sure. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. this is the entertainment business. But uh, you're also, you're the best, you're like the Thanos of the internet. But then you start listening to Thanos and seeing what Thanos does, you're like, God, he's got a point. Yeah. Got a point. Like you're talking wild shit to Woodley. But then you also give him a Rolex in an interview. Yeah. You're talking wild shit to every boxer or, or MMA or whoever, but you're like, yo, I want to make sure y'all get paid better. I want to make sure y'all have healthcare. And you're looking, you're like, yo, this guy's supposed to be the villain, but as I'm listening, I'm not seeing the villain. My uh, girlfriend calls me a sour patch kid. She says, <laughs> first, you're, first you're sour, then you're sweet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I definitely have both sides of me. You know, like if you ruffle my feathers or fucking piss me off, I'm very passionate. I, you know, like I'm from Ohio. The, we're, we don't give a fuck, you know, but at the same time, I have a big heart and I love helping people. Mm-hmm. So it's like you get you can get both sides of me. And that's where people, I think, kind of get confused because yeah. there, there's there's both there. Yeah, yeah. from the, the first impression, they're like, ah, fuck this guy, he's trolling. And then they start to see some of the things that you actually care about and you're trying to do. And they're like, well, I kind of agree with those things. Yeah. <laughs> they're kind of making me, yeah, they yeah. begrudgingly start to like you. Yeah. I, I see the comment all the time. It's like, man, how do, I still don't like the kid. But, they, but yeah, 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 I respect yeah. what he's doing. Like they have to make the point that they, they don't like Well, him, that happens, but. I think, with fights, especially when you're like knocking people out. Even if people don't like you, they have to respect the fact that you can knock another human out. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure you start to like feel a transition of energy around people. Like when you were a YouTuber guy, it was like, oh, this is a YouTuber guy. We can tease him. We can fuck mm-hmm. around. And then you start being able to fight. There's a different, maybe. Different uh, respect. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, different, different. Um, just, I mean, everyone loves a prize fighter, right? It's one of those things. Like it's the most archaic, barbaric thing. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you know, if. No other thing in the world draws as much attention as fighting. Think about it. What what would you stop for on the side of the street? Yeah, you're yeah, gonna stop yeah. for a guitar player in New York. Things. No, you're yeah. gonna stop to watch two people fight. Two yeah. people fighting, two people fucking. Exactly. You see fucking yeah. in public, yeah. and you're like, that's wild. No, it's true. It's it. like uh, I think I was talking to, to I forget who I was talking to about the, but it's like yeah, if you're in the schoolyard, you hear the people go ooh. All of a sudden, everybody's turning around. Yeah. There's one thing that you stop to do, and I wonder if that's what happens. Like. Like, did you have this idea? You're doing these YouTube videos. You're you're doing this YouTube game, and you're garnering attention. You're doing all these things for attention. We all, at the end of the day, do want attention, right? We're in this game for a reason. Do you go at some point? Oh, this is the thing that people pay attention to the most. That's why I need to do it. No, I mean it. It was a it was a bit of that, but a lot of it was boxing being this perfect fit for me personally, mm. and it turning my life around. I think doing YouTube, it was leading me down like a weird path. And that never really was what I loved. Like my brother is more of a creative. He's more of an artist. He's more of a filmmaker. Um, And I just did it. I was good at it, whatever, making millions of dollars doing it. So I was like, fuck it. Like I'm going to lean into this obviously, but it was never truly what made me, you know, my wasn't your genius zone. Yeah. And it wasn't, it wasn't truly who I was. And when I got into boxing and I got up there on stage for that first press conference and I just got to unleash terror and talk my shit and then train hard. I love a challenge. I love training. I love knowing that the opponent is miles away, you know, hundreds of miles away training to try and beat me. I love that competition. Uh, to see who's going to be better. And when I got my first knockout after my first professional fight, 
I just was obsessed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, that was the Were you dropping guys in the gym though? Yeah. Like you knew you had pop. Yeah. So I was dropping guys in sparring and my coaches were like, yeah, you have serious power when you hit the mitts. But this was before my first pro fight. And we all know mitts is very different than being in a fight. Exactly. And they were like, but you have serious pop, you know, just... You don't even need to load up and you're going to knock people out. And I was just like, okay, like, sure, whatever. You know, uh, this that sounds great. And then I put on the small gloves, yeah. no headgear, yeah, yeah. and then dropped the dude in the first round. And I was like, oh, shit, they weren't just, like, gassing me up. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then that just continued. And now I, I'm, I know my ability. I know my skill set, which is why I'm, I feel so comfortable talking as much shit as I do. Yeah, yeah. And, being able to back it up. I know where my limits are in this yeah. game. I know what I'm capable of. And the beauty of it is the rest of the world doesn't know. Yeah. You know, they they still look at me as maybe now they're seeing like a little transition. They're yeah. like, oh, Woodley got him, whatever. But they don't know how, just how serious I take it and just how far I'll go, which is the trick up my, the ace up my sleeve, yeah. which is what Tommy's going to run into. Hopefully if he shows up, he's going to realize... Yeah. How big of a mistake he made. Yeah, because you feel like you're getting better. Exponentially. Yeah. Nonstop. Because mm. I have the best team and I have the ability to pay for the best team. Right. Pay for that one-on-one individual attention, 24-7, stretch therapist, um, chef, nutritionist. Oh, wow. Mm. Three boxing coaches monitoring every little move that I make, you know, just... The, the strength and conditioning coaches, yeah. the the best energy around me, hyping me up every single fucking practice to suck the most out of it. Um, it over time, the consistency of that and being three percent better, yeah. let's just say, than everyone else every day. Yeah. over time is a massive difference. Hundred percent. Now, before earlier, you were saying like sucking the most out of something. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you could have yourself. It's me, bro. Listen. <laughs> Run it. <laughs> Run the lights. All right, guys, we take a break for a second because I got to tell you about our good friends, Diet Smoke. Okay, Diet Smoke delivers THC right to your door. Diet Smoke's Delta 8 and Delta 9 THC are federally legal, and each 10 milligram gummy packs the beautiful buzz that you love, okay? You guys are probably used to hearing me talk about Diet Smoke's Smoke's Delta 8 gummies, but you heard me right this time. Diet Smoke just released their Delta 9 gummies, Diet Smoke Extra for the more experienced consumer, okay? So listen to me right now. If you don't want to get too high where you're absolutely blitz, you can't do anything, you can't even function in your day, come on over here to Diet Smoke where you get the absolute perfect high where you can enjoy that feeling and also enjoy your life. You're not passed out on a couch somewhere. So head over to dietsmoke.com right now. Use the code flagrant for 20% off your entire order. That's 20% off exclusively for flagrant listeners using the promo code flagrant. Now remember, Diet Smoke's Delta H-E-H-E gummies are not for use or sale to people under the age of 21 and please use them responsibly. Now let's get back to the show. Also, guys, Big Daisy Energy Tour is still going strong. You need to cop tickets. I am telling you, we sold out all the shows in Fort Worth. I did a pop-up show in Dallas. Never done a pop-up show before. That sold out super quickly. That was amazing. Uh, We sold out Vancouver. We sold out San Francisco. Coming up next, July 14th through 16th, we got Minneapolis at Acme Comedy Club. Supposed to be one of the best clubs in America. I can't wait to do it. Y'all need to buy tickets. After that, we got the American Comedy Company in San Diego, which is one of my favorite clubs. And then after that, we got Atlanta. Atlantic City. Let me get the dates right. It is going to be August 5th and 6th, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Guys, you got to come to that show. All right. That's the anniversary of when I gave everybody COVID. We're coming back. Also, Kippy and Foley are going to be featuring at one of the shows. And maybe I run the other $5,000 on the roulette bet. Maybe we make a little moment out of that. So get your tickets for that show and all the other shows I got coming up at AkashSingh.com. Now let's get back to flagrant. <laughs> you know, there's a there's a buddy of mine that uh, right before you fought, Nate, you were, I think, sparring with people in L.A. Am I right about that? Yeah. Yeah, I was. L.A. and Vegas. Yeah. And he hit me up and he's a guy who's in the gyms in L.A. And he goes, uh, yeah, Jake's going to knock him out. I go, there's no fucking way that he's going to knock him out. He goes, no, 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 no. 
Uh, he's gonna knock him out. He's been doing some sparring in LA, and, and the kid can punch. Yeah. And I remember seeing it happen, and I was like, "There's no." I, I just couldn't yeah, fucking believe yeah, yeah. it because I thought my boy was fucking with me yeah. a little bit. I'm sure that this is the common reaction that you're getting from people. This is nothing new that I'm saying. It's just crazy to see this happen. You no. know how you know you're getting taken seriously? People stop making fun of Nate Robinson. Like <laughs> when you first knocked him out, I was like, "How does my friend get knocked out by a YouTuber?" Yo, that's true. The better you do, oh, this is great. Yeah. It's like Nate is so great. Nate is your yeah. biggest fan, dog. Yeah, yeah. He can't wait for you to be to beat Canelo. Yeah, because then what happened to him is normal. Yeah, yeah. Facts. I mean, yeah, it's like it's like the more <laughs> famous you get, like yeah. any girl you had a one night stand with is like stoked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just like, like, yeah. I got you, Nate. <laughs> I'm gonna do it for you, Nate. <laughs> That's what it's about. Have you have you spoken to him at all? Not not really. No. Is it because he's having trouble forming words now, or what's, yeah, what's going on? I don't know. I, I don't really know what he's up to. Yeah, I, it's he was a good sport about it. To be honest, he was like yeah, laughing himself. He leaned into in. the memes. Same with Woodley, both of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta it's gotta be interesting to deal with that. I, like, I can't imagine what that's like. What, Just like being whole... like a meme. Yeah. Forever, for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> That's <what it> is. <laughs> I wonder, you know, I really wonder, like, and I was, I was talking to Logan about this, and he said this about you. He goes, you have to understand, like, when you agree to fight Jake, he's going to make your life hell yeah, for yeah. two months. And I wonder if that, if there are certain people who won't fight you, not because they're worried as much about the actual fight. It's the two months of you trying to embarrass them every single day on the internet. Yeah, and leading up to it. Yeah, I, I uh, like. Is that often why? Often think about that. No, but for I, real. Like, so maybe some of these UFC guys that are, are about to be done with their contract are like, "Do I really want to go through this?" I think they really want to get paid. Hmm. You know, but who knows? I mean. They, if they're really grown men just, like, caring about that, then they shouldn't be in that business anyways, really. Everybody got an ego, man. I think you deal with criticism a lot easier than, than most people. Uh, yeah. I mean, people are sensitive. Again, bro. that's like, your super why, Like, it's like, dude, I'm a kid from Ohio. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, at the end of the day, you know, you you, you have to just be self-aware, I guess. I don't know. These, these guys, a lot of fighters have massive egos yeah. and are insecure. I think that's why they, like, do... Fighting is, That's probably why they got good at fighting. Yeah. You're not gonna make fun of you. Beat your ass. Exactly. How about that? Hundred percent. That it makes a lot of sense. I mean, how much were you salivating at the opportunity of a fight with Nate Diaz when <sighs> when Dana started saying that maybe they had just released him and then he suggested the fight? I mean, Dana. Yeah, Dana said it. he said that's the fight. Um, and I think you know if Dana wants to let that happen. <clears throat> Then I'm down. Tell you me know, that's, that's a massive. Fight. Tell me that's not the biggest. That's fight. one two million pay per views right there, Easy. easily. And I think it's a good fight as well. Uh, yeah, a, a really competitive fight, and it'll be interesting to test my skills. And I, I, uh, I'll be excited for that. Obviously, he has one more fight or two more fights or something under his contract. One more, I, but they won't give it to him. Why not make that the last fight? If Dana's going to talk shit about him, I said to Dana that I will fight for free. Against Nate Diaz, all he has to do really? is raise the fighter pay minimum to 50K and provide them health care. Mm. And I'll fight Nate Diaz for free as his last fight, MMA. And that would cover Ooh, a lot You were going to fight him in MMA I'll rules. fight him in the octagon, in the UFC, for free. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hold on one second. <laughs> Would 100%. you let Would you let Dana White put his big toe in your belly button? Okay, no. For, for, for that same thing. <laughs> for that same thing. For that same thing. Hold if on. If it's for the fighters, <laughs> 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 if it is for fighter pay, Dana White can touch my belly button. Wow. With his big toe. Whoa. Yeah. That's big. That's big. Right? That's big. <laughs> I don't think Dana cares that much. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's big though. Yo, the Nate fight you would do in MMA, but can you even can you even grapple and shit? I, I have a wrestling background. Up until when though? Because a lot of people but say the, they got a background, but it's like high school. Up until the junior year of high school. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the tricky thing about wrestling is that, like, that's when jujitsu begins. So right, like you're on the ground. Just look at. The, his last fight with Leon Edwards, or that might not have been. Yeah, I think it yeah. is his last fight. And it's virtually not on the ground at all. Yeah. Um, and my striking, 
I think is better than Nate Diaz. He goes for a takedown. I fucking sprawl and get out of it, mm. you know? So I'm, I wouldn't be worried about that. And then I would just outstrike him. What weight? 175. Could you get down to 175? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What do you walk around at? Two? No, like 196. Okay. Right now walking around 196, 198. Um, but could make it down to 175 for the right money. <laughs> yeah. For the right money. I mean, he might come up. He well, fights he fights at, at 170. 170. So that, I mean, it makes sense Yo, to do it at 175. But why not do the boxing match? I think he, people want the boxing match. I think that the MMA fight, I think the MMA fight is people would see you at too much of a disadvantage. I think boxing people want to see, the people who don't like you want to see you get exposed, right? Yeah. That's the whole idea. Oh, this guy's going to beat Jake yeah. Paul. It was the same thing, like, this is crazy to make the comparison, but like, you know, I'm a huge Floyd fan and like watching... Watching what happened with Floyd, like people were paying money to see him lose, and he made so, so much, much fucking, fucking money. money. Yeah, not in terms of skill, maybe, but in terms of I, this guy's so good at playing the villain. Mm -hmm. I want to pay to see him lose. Yeah, yeah. which so, again is genius. Shit. I think that's the perfect thing. And then Nate, everybody's like, oh, Nate's got good striking. Maybe Nate could be the guy to do it. You have this cool riff with MMA. That's a massive fucking fight. Tommy, stay in England. <laughs> yeah, but for me, it's about. Fighting the professional boxer and you shutting that, that crowd up. Yeah. Like, yo, you gave me a professional boxer and I knocked him the fuck out. Yeah. Now I'll fight Nate Diaz. But they're already whoever. preparing for that. Like, I see do Eddie Hearn doing that. Do you see what he said recently where he's like, uh, now on paper, you know, Tommy should be Jake, mm. but Tommy's not good at boxing either. So it's like you're already discrediting your own fighter. It's, it's like, like, right? like yeah. It's like when Drake drops this recent album. Fire, by the way. It's it's fucking great. It's fu thank and you. The, the fucking internet. That's the straightest thing you said on this the, podcast. The internet cool. fucking idiots just compile together because they have nothing else to do and they start hating on it. Yeah. But the album goes number one. The the Jimmy Cook song goes on goes number one on Billboard. And it's like people are playing the song every single day. Mm -hmm. So Drake could be at the, the he's the best artist in the world, the greatest of all time. And Everyone still wants to critique him. There's always going to be that crowd there. And it's just, that's what it's going to be for me when I beat Tommy Fury mm. and I beat the professional boxer. It'll never be enough. They'll be like, okay, well now fight a world champion. But that yeah. goes against what you just said, which is I want to fight Tommy to shut them up. Then you just said they'll never shut up. But at but they'll they'll have to respect it and eat their own words of like, well, when he fights a real boxer. They can't boxer. say, yeah, exactly. They can't say he can't beat a boxer. Yeah, no, exactly. And, and of course, Eddie Hearn is, already preparing his he's, excuse dude he's preparing it yeah that's what he does he's a he's a weasel he's a snake mm. snake guy right there <laughs> okay go in on this it's like uh <laughs> this seems like a good that. clip I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting the title already <laughs> Yeah. This is good for YouTube. Yeah, this is yeah. Great. yeah, yeah. What do you mean flagrant he's a weasel? Clips. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm in the flagrant grip. Uh, man, I don't even know where to begin with him. But he's uh, he's very two faced. You know, I think off camera he's like on your side, like man, you do. Well, I love what you're doing, actually, and like oh, I really respect it, and blah blah blah. And you're gonna take this a long way, and then the cameras come on, and he's like, "You're not that good." Da da da. Uh, saying all so this he's stuff. selling. But he's it's selling. Like a backhand. It's like a backhanded compliment. Yeah. But or a backhanded diss, like the 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 way he words it and shit. He's yeah. like, "Oh, you're average." Well, average isn't that bad. Well, Eddie, what if I called your wife average? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that, then Get how? Then how, would you, then, <laughs> then how would you take it? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. Um, Jake Paul calls and, Eddie and at the end of the day, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he just is a bullshitter. You know, he gets paid to just fucking talk. Yeah, that's that's all he does, and so he's just pulling words out of his ass half the time. I mean, he inherited his dad's company. Who was his dad? Uh, Barry Hearn, uh, I believe, and just inherited his dad's company like you know typical rich kid growing up here's the company son wow. like never had to work for anything and so he doesn't actually understand what it's like to be a fighter um to to fight through adversity and i just like see that and he, the fact that he just loves to belittle people in mm -hmm. that sense and act like he knows it all 
just want to punch him in the face sometimes. Ooh, Ooh. really? I think you knew where to begin, buddy. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, is there ever a chance we get to see KSI and you in the ring? Man. People love playing I'm matchmaker, ready. right? <laughs> you know, I, I, and I, I'm ready. And the kid has been avoiding me for three years. And even his own fans now are just like, dude, stop, stop talking about it because he clearly doesn't want to do it. Wouldn't that be bad for business? For him to lose? Now that he's in business with your brother with, like, the Prime stuff? No, I mean, I'm sure they would try to, like, promote it through the fight and shit. Mm. But at the end of the day, I think it's just too much of a risk for him. Mm. You know, I don't think he actually wants to take the risk in fighting me with having the potential to lose. Um, because again, he talks about it all the time. I've said, I'll fight you in London. I said, I'll, you know, you could be the A side, whatever terms you want. Like, I don't really, I don't give a fuck. I just want to knock you the hell out and he just won't do it. And then is tweeting me for the past two years, all the time, clickbaiting me on YouTube, damn near his whole entire social media strategy is just to talk about me. And my manager gets on the phone with his. And they never want to fight. Really? Where does it break down? Well, I mean, for him, it's like, I think he knows he's going to lose. Yeah, but I mean, like, so he put some... (laughs) Unrealistic. He put some unrealistic thing so the fight doesn't happen. Where does it break so, down? It's no, not the no, money. No, it's no, he it's doesn't. Not even want the money. He doesn't even put unrealistic <laughs> terms. He just doesn't actually want to fight. So he doesn't even get to the terms. No, it doesn't. Yeah, like, it doesn't what get are the, to the excuses? Terms. I think I was asking. Like, yeah. what's the kind of shit he'll say? Like, oh, well, I can't do it because this. I'm this, doing this. my music tour and <laughs> I'm busy. Like, bro, you're selling out 800 person rooms. Like, no one gives a fuck about your music, bro. <laughs> a little bank. It's nothing wrong with that, Akash, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Yeah, but what if like you do a, it like a couple like of times have, in a row have, over the course of a weekend? That's pretty good, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you have like 80 million followers well, that he has, yeah. Yeah. and you're doing 800 person rooms. Yeah, that's the difference. Like, it's like, oh, wow, like, you do. <laughs> <laughs> your music sucks. Yeah. Like, get the hint. Right. And now all the influencers are trying to box because they see Jake Paul made $45 million last year. Is that how and, much you made? Yeah, and KSI. Son, and what the fuck are you doing here, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fly us out. Bro. I want to go to Puerto Rico for the weekend, boy. Come on, 45? Yeah. Good for you. Thank you, man. Thank Good you. Good for you. It, thank you. It's uh, Why are you still fighting? That's what I'm wondering right now. 45? As much as it's not about, it, as much as it is about the money, at the same time, it's not, bro. Like I said, it's like you like it. I fucking love it. Yeah, I need it, and yeah, yeah, and I, like I don't want to be doing it when I'm like thirty. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Imagine being washed dude, up in thirty. You know 30, what I mean? Dude. Uh, <laughs> what is thirty like? You have your whole pants. Dude. What a stupid <laughs> age, dude. dude. Starting to forget. Yeah, what thirty, dude? Thirty <laughs> fucking losers that are thirty, dude. You not worried about CTE? Shit, you I don't even want to get into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maybe you'll deal with that later. <laughs> yeah, 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 the CT shit. Uh. All right, guys, we take a break for a second because uh, are you tired of not knowing what to invest in and you want to know the safest stocks to invest your money in? Well, then join Red Panda Stock Club, okay? You know Ian from his coverage in Forbes, The Breakfast Club, and USA Today. Ian has an impressive track record, and his predictions are always on point. I mean, he's helped many of our friends make money, including Charlemagne, Alex Media. I'm telling you, the Red Panda Stock Club has got your back. Because if you join, here's a few things you're going to get, all right? You get the four best stocks to invest in for the long term, the four best cryptocurrencies to invest in for the long term and the absolute best price to get in on those cryptocurrencies. You get a weekly call with Ian and all the Red Panda Stock Club members every Monday night and unlimited access for 365 days. So go to joinredpanda.com and put the code flagrant in and you will be able to join for only $297 for the year and get an exclusive invite to Red Panda Meetup for the Flagrant family. Now listen, there's a disclaimer here. Results are not guaranteed. JoinRedPanda.com is not a registered investment advisor. All investment and financial opinions expressed by Join Red Panda are from the personal research and experience of the owner of the site and are intended as educational material. 
Guys, join it. Now is the opportunity for a lifetime if you have some money because you can get into these amazing companies that are not going anywhere at a discount and join Red Panda is going to help you do that. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to tell you about Big Boners, okay? And Big Boners are delivered by Blue Chew. It's that goddamn simple, okay? The best dick you've ever given in your life and ladies, the best dick you've ever taken in your life. Same active ingredient that's inside Viagra or Cialis, but this is the Chew. It's the one we rock with, okay? And this is the one that we suggest that y'all rock with so you can have the best sex of your motherfucking life. And here's the best part. We're going to let you try it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Bluetooth.com. Use the promo code flagrant. You get the first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. That's the best deal on the planet right now. Bluetooth.com. Use the promo code flagrant and enjoy giving the dick. Let's get back to the show. Yeah, there was, I mean, after the Woodley fight, maybe the first or second one, I think you said like, I'm done. I'm not going to box for a while. At least I'm going to take some time off. And then you didn't. What keeps bringing you back? Eh, I can't stay out of the gym, man. Like yeah. it's an addiction. Yeah. I just want to, a week after the fight, I, I just put on the running shoes and just go for a jog. And then after that, I just can't stop. And I know that there's people out there gunning for me that want to see me lose hmm. and that are motivated to train to come and beat me. And this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, and, you know, playing my cards, right. You know, you look at where Conor McGregor was at my age and it's nowhere near where I am now. Mm -hmm. So the potential is unlimited to yeah. become the mm. biggest and greatest prize fighter in the world. And I said, I would do that two years ago. Um, and that's just been my motivation ever since is, setting a fucking insane goal and just riding it until the wheels fall off. So is the goal to be the biggest prize fighter or do you want to also be champion? Do you care about the belts at all? The goal is to be the biggest prize fighter and to win a world championship in my last fight. And then walk mm -hmm. away. And then walk away. What division? 175 pounds. So you come down to 175. Yeah, light heavyweight. Yep. I saw a clip on TikTok. I don't know who it was with, but the guy was shit talking to you about your boxing ability. And you said, I'm glad you said that because when I'm world champion, I want you to eat your words. There's no way you thought when you started, I'm going to be world champion. Was there a moment where you're like, yo, <laughs> I could be fucking world champion? Um, when I sparred my f first world champion. Who? Steve Cunningham. Oh, wow. Three, Big. Three time world champion. Mm. Yeah. Cruiserweight. And, uh, this was a year ago, a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, Steve he's is bigger Steve than me. Steve is big. Bigger than me. Steve fought Taller at heavyweight. Taller than me. Yeah. yeah. Not, knocked down Tyson Fury. That's right. Um, and he was he was a little too light to be fighting those heavyweights. Exactly. Back then, but but yeah. he still fucking did a great Very job. Very skilled, big guy. Yeah. Dope guy. Dope guy. Shout out to Steve. And um, he was the first like multiple time world champion. There's like fake world champions in boxing. He was the first like real, real world champion that I sparred up against. And, uh huh. Did phenomenal. Really? Um, he said it afterwards? He said something to you after? He, no, he was, he was blown away. He said, he's just like, bro, you're going to be all right. Really? <laughs> you're going to be all right. You know, our guy uh, did a uh, shout out to Jake Boswick. And yeah. I asked him about it. And he was very complimentary uh, to you, man. Yeah. Yep. No, yeah. Jake, Jake's, Jake's a great, a great fighter guy, as well. Yeah. Great sparring so, partner. Okay, so you start to fight these pro guys, right? And I'm sure there's guys on the come up too that you're like sparring with. Now, is it like... Hey, let's go light, or is it like some Philadelphia doghouse? Like we're just going at it, F full go, really? all the time. No, hold no holding back. I like to go harder in sparring to prepare myself for the fight night. Oh wow! Is there ever an issue with the sparring partners where they're like, "Hey, buddy, we, we're just kind of getting some work in here"? Hmm. No, we don't. We don't keep around people like that. Really? No, yeah. I, I only spar people who are better than the person that I'm going to fight. Mm. Mm. So you ever been uh, knocked down? Never been knocked down. Really? Yeah. Not once. Never in sparring. And that's why, again, it goes back to like the confidence in myself to talk all this shit. Because it's like, if these world champions who I've sparred full on can't hurt me, then... Have you been Have you been stunned? For sure. Like, yeah, yeah. vision kind of wobbly? Yeah, 100%. Okay. okay. 100%. Everybody that, gets that, caught. You, yeah, everyone does. Yeah. You, you can't avoid that, you know? Um, but... The difference is, is like how you deal with it after that, yeah. you know, because it's like a one to 
five second experience. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's not like MMA where you can drop and then, you know, try to pull guard. It's like you're standing up while your legs aren't working yep. and your vision is wobbling. Yep. And there's another guy throwing those same punches at you. Yep. In front of 20,000 people. Yeah. You know, Alex uh, thinks he can beat up every white guy. Yeah, uh, I do. that's true. He, he said, I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 do you still think that you could beat up Jake? I don't think you could beat up Jake. I do think I could. <laughs> There's no way, Alex. You think. have no, he's seven and four in the streets, bro. He doesn't even I have any real fights. He's a street yeah. record. He's been beat up in the streets, yeah. bro. <laughs> I mean, there's no rules in the streets. Oh, okay. What about sparring in a ring? Oh, the rules would help you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's missing. Rules he's missing. He's missing some yeah. infrastructure. They're gonna yeah. make you a champion. I might, I might have to train for maybe a couple oh months. Oh my god, <laughs> a couple months. <laughs> but do you have a background in it, or? No, no. He no. did. He did karate. Yeah. Bro. He was a cop for a little. Yeah. Does that help? Yeah. He grew yeah. up in Brooklyn. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That helps a little bit. <laughs> you can't bring the gun nah, or the baton. He, he, won't, or none he, won't, of that. he won't. He won't. Nate Robinson. Me. You won't. Absolutely not. <laughs> Bro. He's smaller than me. How about y'all? Who's small? How about y'all? Hey, Nate hey. is smaller than me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we clear the table How and for 90 seconds, like we just like you. Size, size don't matter. You weigh like 194? I heard you said you could take Mike. Mike Tyson? Oh, that's a nice change of subject, oh, Al. That that's a nice a change one. of subject. Yeah, I heard really you say you could take Mike. Yeah. yeah. So Mike Tyson, yeah. Mike Tyson said maybe a fight with you. <laughs> that was good. Actually, yeah. 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 transition. That's how you get us. You got to use Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Okay. Tyson questions. And now, more Nate Diaz. Really good. Because yeah, yeah. now I'm really curious about the Tyson thing. I think everybody else is as well. But we're gonna get back to your bullshit. Okay. But that was really fucking don't, don't good. Don't get off on that though. Yeah. Don't get off. Bring back to that. He's seven and four in the streets, bro. If this fight takes place on pavement, bro, you never know. If there's a curb, we can do a pay-per-view spar if you want. We can set that up. Yeah, you know what nobody's I mean? fighting here. <laughs> <laughs> I spent fucking everything I own making this goddamn studio. Okay. God, me. <laughs> the pay-per-views. Uh, we'll do it at WTF Media yeah, Studios. Son, I mean, yeah. okay. So, but Mike Tyson goes. Mike Tyson goes. Yeah, maybe we could do a fight. Mm -hmm. You think you fuck up Mike Tyson, who is now much older, right? Heavily I don't know under if I would use those words, but I, I, I would win. You and, would win. And I think... <laughs> Come on. Come on, Al. Al! <laughs> you are a hater, bro. Like, so, are you serious, bro? Serious as a heart attack. I respect <laughs> you and your brother. You guys have delusional confidence. Like, it's amazing. So, Al... Like, delusional <laughs> optimism. Yes, optimism. Yes. yes. All right, I'll take no. that. It's, uh, it's a real po superpower. It is. It, is. Yeah, yes. no, it really it is. is. It is. Um, dude. Listen, this is Mike Tyson, bro. Dude, that's... He, you know, I, I will start out by saying... I love Mike Tyson. I love him, his family. He's such a great guy, such a wise guy. He's taking me under his wing. And That's owe him, owe him a, a ton of credit for helping me start my career with the Nate Robinson fight on his, on his undercard. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, we forget. That's crazy. Yeah. We forget. Wow. That, that, was that was the, that same night. Bro. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was that. No, that was the main card. But... Oh, wow. And you were doing some cool shit afterwards where you were going, I sold a million pay-per-views <laughs> like Mike wasn't on the fucking car. <laughs> he helped a little bit. <laughs> okay, but go take on. take it where you can get it. Get it, boy. All right, so go on. So Tyson is, you know, he's, he's cool. He's the OG. Yeah. He's the unk. But at the same time, you think if you guys were in the ring together. I think he thinks that he would knock me out. And I think that is maybe the reason why he doesn't want to do the fight because I think he wants to avoid maybe knocking me out. Like hurting you or doing something yeah. like that. He doesn't realize how good you exactly. are. Exactly. If he knew, maybe he would. Maybe the fight would happen. Can you invite him to a spar or something? Not him sparring, but just to watch you work. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe maybe him watching this would help. Do you Al, think you can I, knock him out? Can I ask you a question? I think there's a very, oh, oh, very good. high chance of that. You, you know, he's think not, you he's can not knock out same. Mike Tyson. He's not, yes, he's not the same. <laughs> he's not the same fighter that he once was, and he knows that. Stop it, bro. Al, you think that. you could beat up every white guy? Yeah. <laughs> what are you oh, talking no, about? No, no, no. I, think it's, I think it's a great fight. <laughs> I think it is a great fight for that exact reason. Me boxing on the outside, him trying to come forward to knock me out. I have one punch power. He has one punch power. Who wins? Bro. Now, Al, oh can God. I ask you a question? This is serious. All right. If Mike Tyson was the exact same person that he is now, mm -hmm. only he was white. Mm -hmm. 
Could you beat up Mike Tyson? I have to train for a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> I have to train for a little bit. You could beat Tyson Fury. <laughs> nah, come on. He's come like on, a giant. He's not, not white. Like, he's not, yeah. No, Tyson, Tyson, Fury. Tyson Fury. That's what I said. Tyson Fury. He's, he's not, not, he's not he, white. What is he, though? I don't know. He's gypsy. He's gypsy. <laughs> you had to say it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna say G-word. I ain't messing with that motherfucker show up in a Winnebago. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's why I don't fuck with him. I have a house. I have a house. I live there. Do you? We don't know, bro. He got all his food in our fridge. I don't know if you got a house. Still in my I have a home. We got 17 made meals in our refrigerator. Yeah, it's because right I'm now. bulking. I'm trying to get the heavyweight. But it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have it delivered here, which is yeah. weird. Yeah. He hit me. He was like, why am I going to the studio to deliver food to Mark? <laughs> yeah. Who are you getting food from? Brian. From my boy Brian. Shout out to Brian Gwinner. Yeah. Yo, why ain't y'all telling me that you're getting food from Nah, people? you don't need it, bro. Come on, son. I didn't know. <laughs> you, <got slipped. laughs> you went to Italy. Italy you got to get a nutritionist. I really yeah. do. Yeah, who's your nutritionist? <laughs> One of my coaches, Danny. Oh, Danny? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's got nice to that? Yeah, he's real nice. So you, do you talking shit to him? Yeah, yo, cook that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> that shit will knock you out. Cook that shit, get bro. Kitchen, fuck bitch. you up. Maybe taking my carbs away and I, I get upset. You get yeah, a little saucy. A little, hang, yeah. a little hangry, right? You get a little saucy, right? For sure. What, what For do you, sure. What but do you it's do? good. It's good to be on edge when you're in fight camp. You oh, know? you think? Yeah. What, what is it's like a caged up animal ready to fight. You mm. know? Are you Wait, super? Are you, are you superstitious? Yeah. Like when it comes to fight time, like yeah. do you have little things you're like, yo, I don't do this? Tons of tons of rituals. Okay. Like what? A lot of meditation, deep breath work, um, out loud manifestation. Okay. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. This guy's crazy. You never do that? This guy's crazy, yeah. I've never manifested anything. You never bro. manifested <laughs> anything, Al? I mean, not Come with all on, that. Bro. So that I just made it happen. Okay, but listen. <laughs> 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 just make what happen. What do you make happen? Nah, 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 I'm fucking you can't even it. manifest the colors match in your outfits. You think that you're gonna just stop it? Stop it. <laughs> Finish your pants and then come back. Stop yeah, like stop this it. Really stop. Stop okay? it. So, are you talking about colors? You talking about colors? What? Are, these are I don't see color. I don't matches. see colors. I don't see oh, color. Miles now. <laughs> I'm Miles. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Miles colorblind is the most ass. Colorblind person. We got a racist colorblind person on the podcast, bro. He's colorblind. And racist. He's actually yeah. colorblind. The guy that does the color for our podcast yeah, is actually racist. colorblind. I'm not racist. Yeah. You're, and, you're kind of and racist. He doesn't like oh, Asians. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're like, a little racist. You're like you do, you do make a couple you called black here. people That's the entrains. You did call them that. <laughs> you did. He's a comedy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's an excuse. Do you think says, you could beat up Miles? We just, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Do you really think you could beat up Miles? Come on. I wouldn't do it. Huh? I wouldn't come do it. That's not fair. Why is it not a fair fight? Because he's part of Golden Dude? Because he's going to have a tiki short in one hand. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Miles got the going to storm right? your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the Proud Boys like, yo, <laughs> stand by and put on your Hawaiian <laughs> shirts, fellas. <laughs> There's a cross burn in fucking Long Island <laughs> City right now. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> okay, I listen, Jake. You, listen, I know you. I know you guys got it. <laughs> He's so scared. What? what? He's like, I'm not racist. I'm not racist. Into the bike every that's, chance. That you sounds the most racist. That's that's like, racist when you bro. say you're not, now we know for a fact yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah, Miles. <laughs> That is a racist <laughs> motto too. Is I don't even see color. Exactly. That's really accurate. That was say. that was really fucked up. Mm -hmm. That was really fucked up. What you did? How many black friends do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not racist. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Miles, just count them. Count them down. Count them down the way you do that weird ass countdown. So the way he counts down from five is this. It's literally this. He goes, he goes, five, four, three, two, one. I've never seen anything like this. That's how I know you're racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I know you're racist, Miles. I'm just gonna keep saying I'm not racist. <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? Yeah, I know. That's fucked up. You, you sandwich me in between these motherfuckers. What do you mean? <laughs> like, what do you mean me? This guy too. Wait, what this, you think Marcus? I have black friends. How many? Five. <laughs> well, three. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <Yes. Ow. laughs> what about those two? Who are those two? Well, there is, it's five. But, yeah, uh, but what? But nothing. Do you just count the Obama family as, as <laughs> those? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, exactly. okay. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Yeah. okay. He's like, all people I work okay. with. Derek, Al, <laughs> Jamil. Count? Like, counts. Who yeah. else? Dove is from Africa, yeah. so that works. And Akash counts. Akash yeah, is and you also count me. And, and, uh, yeah. yeah, and Jake's posse. I, I'm friends with them now. 
Yeah. That counts. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm in the double digits, baby. Got, Thank you, bro. I, I ten thousand dollars to zero of them know your name. Yeah, know. they'd be like Michael, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you roll hella deep. Why do you roll with so many people? Man, I, you scared? The, the I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Come on. No, the, the team. Each person, you know, provides value, and uh, there's just a lot of stuff to do. Um, we we have a pretty big operation, and. Uh, always better to be safe than sorry. Also, that's like with security as well, and that's really it, man. Have you had people like come <clears throat> try to start some shit? Not very many, not very many. Um, but there, there's always that like one heckler, and I'm always with Julia as well. Yeah. So like she has their own guard too, just with her. Yeah. Um, you know, just just better to be safe than sorry. That's the one thing you can't get back, right? It's like. Okay, you're gonna start paying for security after something happens. It's like no before. Yeah. yeah. So especially if you got fifty million in a fight or whatever, it's like, bro, I'm gonna invest in security. Yeah. I don't want anybody fucking up my money later. No, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And also, like, I don't know. Everybody has. I don't know if you feel this way, but like, you have ego. Somebody says some wild shit to like your girl. <clears throat> you could go risk everything that you're working on. Yeah. To go handle it for yourself, or you could have somebody that you were employing mm. to go. You know, make sure people don't say. Or well, you just shit. roll with so many black people, nobody says anything. You're like you're like smart one. You're like America, and they're like your nukes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. No, but it's it's. I was another N word. Did you see how he I used the N word to describe? Know. He's racist too. That, that guy yeah. might be racist. I'm not able to say it. Who knows? You know what I mean? <laughs> what are the rules, Al? Al what is, yo, Miles, don't laugh too hard. Yo, Miles laughed way too hard at that. Just the idea of it being said. Miles, calm down, bro. Don't say nukes. No more nukes. Right now. <laughs> yeah. wow, giving me permission I haven't taken, nah, but Al's you gave him permission. Well, you have to say not, sand not nukes. Not <laughs> <laughs> Desert yeah. nukes. Yeah. Desert it's story. a sand nuke, bro. That's all you can sand. say. Yeah. Dude, these guys are going crazy. <laughs> well, going I, this crazy is what right I gotta now. deal with, bro. Come on, bro. So, how Listen. do you feel about dealing with white people, bro? That shit sucks. That's the most right? racist thing anyone said. That's crazy. That's super you know, racist, right? That's super racist. How you know I'm white, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're, you're Italian. I'm white. My bad. I'm, I'm bad. Italian my right bad. now, bro. I became Italian. Sicilian. I'm perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go there yet, but yeah, I'm Sicilian too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dealing with you crackers all fucking day. <laughs> honky ass. Cracker. Colonizers. Thank <laughs> 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 you, know what I'm saying? Jake, Jake, you say, what am I doing? million, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 45 my boy let's go <laughs> I don't know what just happened for the past 10 minutes CT <laughs> man okay listen we gotta wrap this up cause you gotta go on a flight you guys gotta get the fuck out of here back bro. to training camp Puerto Rico yes sir okay can I ask one more question please I was I was, I was hoping <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that you was going to do that, bro. Come you know, on, bro. The bro. biggest money fight out there for you is probably you and Logan. Oof. Would you want to do that or would it get too competitive? I'm, or? I'm not going to allow that. <laughs> what? what? Are you Greg Schultz? Or what? I'm Greg, <laughs> oh, no, Greg Ball. Greg Ball. <laughs> I'm not going to allow that. Slap, I'm drunk. <laughs> but go on. Answer it first. Yeah, go on that. You're, you're so right. Me and my friends were talking about this the other day that that is the, the biggest money fight out there. And Logan and I talk about it all the time. Parents don't want us to do it. They're like, absolutely not. You know, yeah, right. why would you do that? The Klitschko brothers never fought. The Charlo brothers mm -hmm. haven't fought. The list goes on. And I think Logan and I like to make history mm -hmm. and do shit differently and spin the narrative. And I think for that reason, the fight one day will happen. I mean, it's a whole different thing, but I remember tennis. If Venus and Serena played, mm -hmm. everybody's watching that shit. And yeah. this is boxing. Like you said, everybody has to watch fighting. Yeah. And, well, wins, bro. and why not, you know? Well, Wait that's why I'm down because he would be the one that I would have to deal with that for the rest of his life. <laughs> Oh. Poke his belly button. Yeah. yeah. Oh. This is wallpaper Talk payback that. right here, yeah. bro. Yeah. So if he's down, you know, like I, I Talk that just, let's just say any, it's boxing, anything can happen. Yeah. If if my own brother knocks me out, I'm perfectly fine with that. Really? If he's used to it, he's a younger brother. Not if, even kidding. If oh. if yeah. I knock out him, which is more likely to happen, right? Um, just because Logan, I love you, but he's never won a fight. 
Wow. That, that's a factual <laughs> statement. That's not really an insult. It's not, it's not an it's insult. A, it's not an insult. This guy Even though you had him winning all eight good. rounds. You had him winning all right. eight rounds against Floyd. Al said he won one. Technically. Said, yeah, eight. but technically. Um, yeah, how many how many rounds do you think he won? Really? I don't even remember, to be honest, oh, what, what my score was. Probably like six to two, five to three. But, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe I was biased. I don't know. But keep going. But keep going. I doubt it. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, he would be the one that would have to, like, accept that. You know, bro, I've been boxing for two years straight now while he's been... You know, doing his lollygagging, his doing a little podcast. podcast. No, and, and I'm not, I'm not <laughs> hating on it. I'm just saying I've been more dedicated. In the NFTs. He's, he's into NFTs. Exactly. He's crushing it. You Favorite know? word is probably end the N word. Oh that's my God. This is so <laughs> funny. What? What? <laughs> Miles, calm down. That's why you yeah. bought them. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, camera guys putting cameras on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but. I would really want to sit down with Logan ahead of that and be like, yo, can we actually come out of this peacefully? Is that because you guys weren't always close? Yeah, exactly. But, and that's a slippery slope, right? Um, So I would just wouldn't want to go back to that. Like, it wouldn't be worth it if we couldn't both be civil regardless of the outcome. Right. Um, Because you said for two months promo, I'm going to make your life hell. And you could do that knowing it's all in good fun, but yeah. it would be, it's rough. But it's also probably, I don't know, 200 million. Yeah. That's what I told my mom. I said, well, mom, I want my kids to drive Mercedes. Mercedes Benzes. You, you already had that much yeah, money. Yeah, you, you had that. You made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to help you with your finances. It's like, it's like, it's like 40000 for a Mercedes. Yeah, you get the C-Class <laughs> used. <laughs> You're like 25. Yeah. Like a Maybach. Did you guys really beef because of that prank with the Lamborghini? Bro, he was on no, here. No, not because He of was that. so upset about Bro, that Lamborghini tied. prank. <laughs> he, so told, upset. he told a story, and it was like the deepest, most dark, yeah, right? like heart-wrenching Bro. story. Bro, and we had no clue where it was going. He thought that you like... I don't know what the fuck we thought. We thought you did some watching and then I had a Lamborghini and then I didn't. Crazy, bro. His birthday's April 1st. Like So you had to get Don't him. be born on April 1st. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my fault. That's not but him. that's that's your mom and dad, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> they were timing it. <laughs> did he ever prank you back for that? I think so. We we used to prank each other like every week. What was his best one he got off on you? Not like that. <laughs> Man. <laughs> he like had this fake secret service come to my house <laughs> and act like they were arresting me. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah After I, I went to the White House and like snuck in or slept overnight. Wait, what? What? Yes. Yeah, well, what? I went to the, I was invited to the White House for okay. this influencer event. Who was president? Who was president? Obama. Black friend. <laughs> you know what I'm Wacky. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he had a sleepover there. He wasn't. He was. He was supposed to be there, and he wasn't there. I was upset. He and, was late, and I was like, okay. Come on, it's just there. It's just there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Okay, go, Jake, go. Oh, so you go there. Obama's not there. Okay, you got to do it. Joe Biden. You got to do it. No, he, of course he was yeah, there. He was Did there. he know he was there? <laughs> or was he looking for cotton candy? Was he just like... <laughs> he didn't know he was there. He told me that. where <laughs> am <laughs> uh, Man, but I, I was just like, hey, all these influencers are going here. There's 30 of them. They're all going to be making a vlog. And I thought to myself... How can I make my vlog better than theirs? I'm going to sleep in the White House. Fire. (laughs) Where did you hide out? So I snuck away into a bathroom and just stood in there until like 4 or 5 a.m. And nobody noticed nothing? Not a, not a, not a peep. They didn't, they didn't even know. I, this I literally is crazy. walked out the front crazy. door. This is crazy. Every yeah. other country's pussy. I, I walked Every out. other country wants to take out our presidents or pussy, bro. <laughs> Hold on. I walk out the front door and post the video, and that's when they found out. Yeah. Did they ask you to take it down? Yeah. Immediately, right? Yeah. And they showed up at my front door. Oh, shit. Like, the actual Secret Service showed up, and then my brother, like, got the people to come back, so that's why I thought it was real. Ah. Oh. So, wait, what was the combo with Secret Service when they showed they up? They were like, 
Yo, really funny. They were trying to intimidate. <laughs> yeah. We subscribed. <laughs> Love the content. It's amazing. We just came here to say, "What's up, bro?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a selfie. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, why? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like him being like, "Yo, get it in check." Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they just tried to intimidate me and be like, well, take the video down or else. And this this is a terrible representation. We're disgraced that you did this and you're never going to be able to come back to the White House and you need to take the video down right now. I was like, I have permission to be there. I have permission to film. I'm sorry, I'm not taking the video down. And Greg Paul was there and he goes, you should be thanking him. He found the flaw in your fucking system. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Fire. Yes. Fucking go. Fire. Oh, I fucking and, did uh, that. Dad's fire. Right? Even though he's Do you think you could beat up his dad? Nah. <laughs> nah. He was a piece of shit for leaving him outside. <laughs> <laughs> like, these are country <laughs> boys. Their babysitter boys. was just outside. <laughs> <laughs> nature, dog. Mother Best nature, babysitter. Dog. Yeah, Bro, that is insane. How did I not hear about this vlog? That's crazy. How long was it up before they hit you? Like six, seven hours. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, that yeah. quick. Yeah. yeah. That, they came to your house or they called you? They called first and they like asked where I was and I wasn't home. And then I was like, I'm going to be home at this time. I was like, I'm going to comply. Like I did nothing wrong. So yeah. just come on over. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I've done, I've done, <laughs> I have so many different weird stories like that. Like the beginning of my YouTube career was just like, Every day waking up and trying to think of a different idea like that. Mm. What was the craziest one you couldn't put out? <laughs> yeah, boy. I'm trying to think of what it could be. Man, I made 800 videos over 800 days every single day. Um, I, I think I might have put them all out. I don't know. I don't know if I have an answer to that question. There was definitely some shit. We, we threw a giant party once, actually, in L.A., and um, it was all over the news, like Project X type of party. Dirt bikes in the front yard, back flipping, 2,000 people there. Um, we had like a whole club inside the house, and the next morning, helicopters are like circling above the house, filming us on the news, like zooming into the house and stuff. And when YouTube like heard about uh, the fact that that happened, they were like, we know you're filming a video. You can't post the video about the party. Um, but I wish I wish I could have posted that one. So you still have video. that one in the tuck? Yes, that one's still in the vault. Oh, okay, cool, before you leave, I, I want to ask you this question. What is it that you understand about people that, that most people don't understand? You know how to generate interest. You know how to generate attention. You know how to get the world to put their focus on you or something you're doing. What do you understand about people? They're simple. How so? Meaning it's like dangling a carrot in front of them. If you know what they want, then you can just give it to them. What and do they everyone want? wants the same thing. Which is? They just want a dopamine release from their phone. They want to see something different. I have it up on my mirror. It says people want to see something they've never seen before. Mm. It's very true. And that's why people like yourself break through. Uh, that's why, you know, people are their own individual stars is because most likely they're doing something that's never been done before. So instead of trying to replicate a trend, you have to set a trend. We have to do something with And just be that. yourself. Yeah. Be so yourself, so authentically yourself. Um, and that's how, that's how you can stand out. And, and entertainment, like, you, but you, obviously if you're boring though, you know, there's like a switch you have to turn on Yeah. if you're just a boring person. But what could that, what, what could that character be for yourself? You know, if, if someone's trying to get famous out there or whatever, people want to see something they've never seen before. People always ask like, Jake, like, how, what's your advice? I'm like, just don't be the next Jake Paul, be the next you. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and... Good news travels fast. Bad news travels faster. People like drama. They like controversy. Mm. Um, and so playing in that lane and pissing people off is, is a good thing, I think. At what age do you learn these things? Like 20, 21. Okay, so you're, you're already making videos. This is it's not something you picked up as a kid. This is... No, I just started to realize, you know, that... 
if I was doing something in the press that was um, edgy, let's just say, or not not the standard, so many more people would write about it. Um, and so there would be some things where I would do it on purpose. Like there's a there's a viral clip of one of the first things I people got pissed at me for is there's a news van outside of my house and they were there filming me as like, oh, Jake Paul, crazy YouTuber. I was like, okay, I'm going to feed into this. Like I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to climb on top of the news van. I'm going to bust out the dirt bike and start doing wheelies down the street. And me and my friends like, yeah, it's going to go viral. Let's just go out there and do it. And that was like one of the first things that got my brand out there in a major way that, cause I, I never wanted to just be a YouTuber. You know, the, the goal was always transitioning into mainstream media and being a movie star, being, you know, a household name. That was, that was the goal. And so strategically you had to come up with a way to get that. And it was, I guess, yeah, manipulating journalism and articles. Huh. <laughs> it is interesting though. Like to fundamentally understand what people want. Yeah, and, and just raise the stakes. Tommy or Tyson bets a hundred thousand. You say let's make it a million. Yeah. Like, why not just draw more attention to it? A million's way more interesting than a hundred thousand. Get a tattoo. <clears throat> yeah. Get a Got tattoo. Steal Floyd Mayweather's hat. Steal Floyd Mayweather's hat. Yeah. And eventually, was that well, go, well, actually, was it? I came. I came up with the idea like on the spot. Okay, so that's what I'm starting to understand. Like, do you eventually start to to sp- to like speak the language of content. Yeah, hundred percent. Especially after doing it for so exactly. long. Exactly. Right. Yeah. It's like you can make a joke out of it. In the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it just becomes a part of who I am. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Bro, I appreciate you so yeah, much man. coming by, man. Hundred percent. I wish man. you the best of luck. Yeah. Anything you need it. over here, we we got your back. Yeah. Man. Thank you guys. Thank you for really sure. This has been a lot it. of fun. Yeah. My brother. Let's go. Peace. Good shit, buddy. Guys, Jake Paul, everybody. Hey.